SCP-5053. Anything but a stick in the mud. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5053 is currently contained within the botanical wing of Site-83. The entity is permitted to explore and document its experiences freely. The entity is not permitted to enter restricted areas or explore the facility beyond the botanical wing. Video records of the entity's explorations are to be reviewed bi-weekly. Any attempts to violate, abuse, or otherwise take advantage of its liberties are to be reported to the current site director. Interactions with the entity outside of testing should remain minimal as to avoid unnecessary sentimental attachments. SCP-5053's psychological state should be reviewed weekly, and should any notable signs of depression be observed, it shall be confined within a temporary insectoid containment cell until it recovers completely. Any and all weaponry constructed by SCP-5053 is to be confiscated immediately upon discovery. Description SCP-5053 is a stick bug, Phobiticus curabi, measuring 53 centimeters in length. The entity is bipedal when relaxed, although it has demonstrated the ability to utilize all six of its limbs for locomotion. SCP-5053 is capable of communication in English and displays human levels of intellect. The entity is capable of crafting tools and weapons from grass, wood, and bone. However, it is either unwilling or unable to utilize man-made tools, even when they have been made proportioned to the entity's size. Due to the entity's size, weapons constructed by SCP-5053 pose a minimal safety risk to personnel. SCP-5053 will dictate exposition about its time prior to containment when asked, although it will occasionally engage in conversation at random. The length of these encounters generally last between 10 and 15 minutes on average. There is a notable decrease in the amount of time SCP-5053 is willing to converse about an entity it refers to as a Hashibor. Due to the aforementioned entity's potentially anomalous nature as described by SCP-5053, an investigation has been initiated. Barring its reluctance on this particular topic, SCP-5053 is generally amicable and cooperative with Foundation personnel. SCP-5053 is extremely agile and capable of omnidirectional movement. It is also quite proficient in both sword-based and melee combat. The entity has previously displayed a desire to engage in combat with sentient life it considers formidable. See Skills Demonstrations. The following is a comprehensive list of entities SCP-5053 has claimed to have instigated combat with over the course of its life. Due to its limited scientific knowledge, the exact genus and species of the entities SCP-5053 have encountered is unknown. In italics is the name SCP-5053 gave when describing the entities, and the general identity of the entities has been extrapolated from SCP-5053's descriptions. Entities Encountered Fire Ant Colony Reds Colony was dissolved once SCP-5053 terminated the Queen. Earthworm A Great One Encountered by SCP-5053, Entity was not terminated. Monarch Butterfly Blue-Winged Angel Terminated by SCP-5053. Beetle. Defender of Altaria. Terminated by SCP-5053. Stickbug. Torque. Euthanized by SCP-5053. Ladybug. Lord Baron. Encountered by SCP-5053. Entity was not terminated. Unknown. The Hashabor. Terminated by SCP-5053. Interview 1. Detailed below is an audio recording of a conversation between SCP-5053 and Dr. Owen Andrews. Date, January 3rd, 2020. Time, 1.30. Dr. Andrews. Tell me about it one more time, for the record. SCP-5053. Your relentlessness is admirable, Doctor. Imagine the adventures we could have had if you had met me before. When we last spoke, I believed we were discussing the fate of Alteria. You previously mentioned it as the Bug Kingdom. Is that an accurate description of the area? I lived there most of my life, made plans to retire my title as knight and settle down with a mate. I'm the only one left who knows what it was like. 
Uh, of course. Last we left off, you were describing your encounter with another one of your species? Yes. His name was Tork, a warrior like me, a friend unlike any other. We slayed countless foes in the defense of our kingdom. He wasn't much different than I, a little less groomed perhaps, a little more abrasive and tact. We were the Aegis to the kingdom. Everything comes to an end eventually, I suppose. What do you mean by that? What happened to the other entity? Talk found me out there well beyond Alteria's walls. I'm still not quite sure how he managed to track me down. His mind was practically gone. The Hashabor's influence was seeping out of his one eye. Limbs all bent wrong in his body. All he could do was beg to return home. What was the Hashabor's influence that you mentioned? I'm... I'm not sure myself, honestly. It was this strange green liquid that leaked out of Torque's eye. Thick as sap and reeked of dung. Whatever the Hashabor was doing to him was torture. What I did was mercy. My condolences, SCP-5053. Your sincerity changes nothing, Doctor. Although... It is appreciated. I miss them. All of them. Still, what fate would have befallen Alteria if I had stayed? If what happened to Tork happened to everyone, then... I would have been another citizen in a kingdom of puppets. Selfish as it may have seemed, I'm glad I, I left when I did. But... You already know all of this. Yes, I recall, but this is... For the record... Correct. Then, let your record show that Alteria, my home, has been avenged. Following SCP-5053's final statement, the entity proceeded to scale the adjacent wall and slip into a ventilation shaft. Audio surveillance recorded the entity in great emotional distress. Further interaction with SCP-5053 was suspended for three days, wherein the entity had returned to its normal behavioral patterns. Skills Demonstrations Due to SCP-5053's ability to craft weapons from various arboreal materials, a series of tests regarding the lethality of the weapons have been performed. SCP-5053 is placed within a standard insectoid mobile containment unit along with several various specimens. Due to the unethical nature of this experiment, further testing of SCP-5053's combative abilities has been suspended. Specimen Provided Dung Beetle Material Provided Tree Bark Tool Created Short Sword Results SCP-5053 attempted to communicate with the specimen. Specimen is unresponsive. SCP-5053 assaults the specimen with its weapon. Altercation ensues, resulting in SCP-5053 removing the head of the specimen and presenting it to attending personnel. Specimen Provided Brazilian Wandering Spider Material provided, pig femur. Tools created, spear and tower shield. Results. SCP-5053 immediately manipulated the bone and prepared for combat. Specimen attacked SCP-5053. The entity jabs at the spider for several seconds before piercing its underside. The spider attempts to paralyze SCP-5053 with its fangs, but is blocked. SCP-5053 dismembers one of the spider's limbs, and punctures the specimen's abdomen three times. The specimen ceases movement and is assumed terminated. SCP-5053 utilizes its makeshift spear to decapitate the specimen. SCP-5053 presented the head to intending personnel. SCP-5053 has made the following statement at the conclusion of the second scale demonstration. I am the final legacy of my kingdom, not a gladiator. Do not make a mockery of me again. A formal apology was issued, which the entity expressed gratitude for. As extensive testing could not be done, it is still unknown what the true extent of SCP-5053's competitive abilities are. Confession The following is an audio recording of a conversation between SCP-5053 and Dr. Owen Andrews. It should be noted that the entity engaged Dr. Andrews completely unprovoked. Date, January 18th, 2020 Time, 1425. SCP-5053 
I miss them. Dr. Andrews. Miss who? Tork. Lord Baron, even the Defender. They needed me, and I was out having adventures. My home was destroyed, and I wasn't there to die along with it. I'm all that's left. Me. What would have gone differently if you were there, SCP-5053? Fought. Fought with every weapon I could craft, with every ounce of strength that could carry in my body. I would have given my life if it meant Alteria could see another moon. I... I understand. How could you possibly understand what it's like to turn your back on your home when it was in need? How could you understand that you could have done something, anything that could have saved the bugs you loved if you had just been there? We... We lose people every day. Some really close friends of mine. I... I would give anything to have them back. You aren't alone here, SCP-5053. We're here to help you. SCP-5053 is heard sniffling for several seconds before clearing its throat. <clears throat> we may be more alike than I thought. Very well. Permit me freedom to erase the body of the Hashabor so that I may find peace. I'm afraid that won't be possible, SCP-5053. Then, you must do it. If you really want to help, find Alteria and burn the body of the Hashabor. It should still lay right where I left it, far beneath the earth within the tunnels of Alteria. I dare not wonder what horror that corpse might bring if left unchecked. I'll run this by the director. You have my thanks. An investigation into the location described by SCP-5053 is currently underway. A geographic perimeter was established based on the details provided by the entity, but the exact location of Alteria has yet to be discovered. Interview 2 Detailed below is an audio recording of a conversation between SCP-5053 and Dr. Owen Andrews. Date, February 14th, 2020. Time, 1535. Dr. Andrews What exactly is is the Hashibor SCP-5053. You've mentioned it several times to our personnel, but haven't given any description of the entity so far. SCP-5053, are, are you alright? SCP-5053. The Hashibor, yes, it's a vile, despicable thing from the depths far below Alteria. We thought it was a myth, a Larva's nesting store where you tell to keep the young ones from acting up. But the entity you mentioned exists physically? Physically, mentally, spiritually. In every way I can imagine, the Hashibor was real. Can you please give a physical description of the entity? Its carapace was similar to Lord Baron, whatever creature he was. It must have had a dozen legs sharpened to a point. If it flew, I could not tell you, but the wings of a blue-winged angel rested on its back. There are more eyes than a web spinner, and that scream. If I ever forget everything that I've known, the scream will still stay with me. I don't know what it was doing, but the Hashibor was controlling the bugs of Alteria. What do you mean? It directed my friends my allies to attack me. Every time it opened its mouth, they moved. They swung when it screamed, I... I don't know how many bugs I put down before slaying the beast. SCP-5053 expresses emotional distress. It is heard attempting to clean its visage before returning to a relaxed state. Take a moment to compose yourself, you're... you're safe here. Thank you, Doctor. I'm... Feeling better now. Shall we continue? Of course. Approximately 15 minutes following the conclusion of this interview, SCP-5053 began continuously secreting an unknown green substance from its left eye. Secretions lasted for five minutes. No samples of the substance could be obtained due to the material evaporating shortly after exposure to the air. SCP-5053 had no recollection of this event occurring, but was greatly distressed when informed. 
Thank you for listening to STP5053. If you enjoyed this SCP, please like and subscribe, and follow the link in the description of the SCP Wiki, and vote to support it and the SCP Wiki as a whole. Also, if you have any SCPs you'd like for me to do, please leave a comment below, and I'll see what I can do.